bear the fruits of this, or perhaps you just want to eat the fruits from this tree that we're building. Perhaps you want to build your own tree and work together in our little patch. Um, <coughs> these are the roots of the ecosystem, so governance, the resources that we need. So any of these roots, if we don't get them, then the whole tree falls down. It really does feed and make the ecosystem grow. Collaboration is really key for us. We want volunteers and networks and partners to work with us collaboratively. And of course, the community. So that involves you as individuals, but also um, businesses and government as well. So <laughs> all of these things feed in to grow this organisation. Some of this we have quite a lot of, some of it we don't have enough of. And the how we are going to get a, a changing the environment here is with capacity building. We have five branches that we've identified. So the obvious one here is agriculture. So Jess is our lead at the driver for agriculture. So we're really trying to achieve best practices and higher yields, which of course will increase the profit and get people out of poverty. <coughs> um, FAC, the Future Agro Challenge is the biggest event that we've um, championed since starting Startup Tablelands. We have a couple of technology drivers here, so Seamus and George. They help you build systems in your um, business, which then becomes more efficient um, <coughs> and brings you into the 21st century way of doing business. Okay? It's a real killer for a lot of small businesses nowadays. So we encourage you to talk to Seamus and George about that. The other branch is just basic business building. So this could be, for startups in particular, is trying to identify your minimal viable product. So what's the minimal thing you can do so you're not wasting your time? And plan um, what it, the steps that it takes to actually build a business from scratch. And then look at the marketplace too, identifying the niche, if it is a niche market. The area I'm really interested in is entrepreneurial mindset. I know there's a lot of coaches in the room, you'll meet them later. And so for me, it's about building your emotional intelligence, your soft skills, so you have the resilience you need to stay in the game, and the focus your energy, where focus your energy, because there's so many things to do as a starter. And then um, building a prosperity and wealth mindset, which is absolutely crucial in terms of making money out of your purpose. Uh, Not-for-profit, also interested in that from a personal perspective, and I really want to see them get results. I'd love to see not-for-profits actually solve the problems that they're intended for in the first place, making them more efficient so they can do that, and then building sustainable income sources, because that's the killer for most not-for-profits, is they just run out of money. So this is our little ecosystem here. We hope that this inspires you to actually come in and help us in any of those branches or build your own branch, okay? We're not that, you know, not that precious about who owns what. If you want to lead something, you are welcome to come and lead it. Um, if you, like I said, if you just want to collaborate uh, with something that you're interested in, something that you're doing, by all means, come and talk to us about that. We'll talk about more that a bit more in a minute.